Kia ora and kia orana. my name is Sunny Teo and welcome to Unlimited Living Podcast, which is a waka for all people to achieve infinitely more and to live, love, life. The purpose of this podcast is to provide weekly tips from the lessons I've learned as a high school dropout to where I am today as an IT professional living by the beach in our dream home with my beautiful wife and three children. Welcome back. This week we are hitting the episode 4 of Season 0. And Oh, wait a minute. Season 0? What does that mean? Well, 2020, 2020. I thought uh, instead of going with starting for Season 1, we've gone back with Season 0. So next year, 2021, would be Season 1 and so on. It's crazy. Yeah, I know, but it's cool, I think. Anyway, doesn't really matter, does it? Episode 4. Season zero, and the word of the week this week is causes, such as in cause and effect, or sowing and reaping. The word of the week is causes, and just for those that have just joined in, we basically have started a 12 week challenge where each week we share a bit of focus on a word of the week. We started week one with changes, last week we started with choices, now week three it's causes cause and effect for sowing and reaping basically what that means is this where intent and actions of an individual which is the cause influence the future of that individual where intent and actions of an individual influence the future of that individual With nearly 50 days of no rain in Auckland, it has been very hot, it has been very dry. But in the last week or so, we've been refreshed with rain this week. It wasn't enough to jump up and down, but it was really good to see. The landscape since December has transformed from being green rolling hills to brown desert-like hills. So what is causing that? What? Now this is the effect of no rain, right? The cause is no rain, the effect is dry, brown, desert-like hills. And it even affects some of the people that live on water tanks. They're running out of water, they have to wait for such a long time <clears throat> for their water to be refilled, their water tank to be refilled. So that's that's an example of cause and effect. You may have heard the saying that what you sow is what you reap. What you put in the ground is what is going to grow. Okay. If you're going to plant apple seed, you are going to get apple trees. You're not going to get orange. You're not going to get lemon. You're not going to get a pineapple tree or a banana tree or a coconut tree. You are going to get, yes, you guessed, you got it, apple trees. And eventually that apple tree is going to be a fruit of apples. Where then again, you can repeat the cycle of sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping cause and effect. The cause is the action of sowing. The effect is reaping the fruits of the seed sown. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, Man becomes what he thinks about all day long. So try and imagine your mind as a soil and that your thoughts are sown into that soil and then eventually as that soil is fertilized, is watered, um, it becomes eventually becomes an action okay so that is what that means sowing and reaping so the universal law of cause and effect states that for every effect there is a definite cause likewise for every cause there is a definite effect your thoughts your behaviors and actions create specific effects that manifest and create your life as you know it if you're not happy with the effects you have created, then you must change the causes that created them in the first place. Change your actions, you change your life. Transform your thoughts and you'll create a brand new destiny. Shallow men believe in luck. Strong men believe in cause and effect. So the quote of this week is to replace the cause 
and the effect changes. Replace the cause and the effect changes. In other words, if you're not happy with where you are right now, there, there, there is only one way to change that. Figure out what is causing your current effect in life. Understand why the cause is there and work at changing that why, the cause, the ideal effect. We have already shared about how to see change in life with our five steps from episode one. And then last week we talked about shoot, making choices to start small with your changes. Don't try to do everything all at once, just start with one area. Start with one small thing, whatever that is, and just make that a habit. Keep focusing on that small change. A life without cause is a life without effect. So I want to challenge you today to think about why you do what you do today. You know, where you are in life. Why are you there? You know, it's 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 an effect of a cause. My tagline on my social media channels is creating tomorrow today. Real simple, creating tomorrow today. This means that every choice I make today is going to affect or impact my tomorrow. So every seed that I'm sowing in my mind or my thought life is going to affect my actions. So I hope that makes sense. So you will need to create an awareness, awareness inside me to consider every moment of life because every choice has a consequence, right? Well, it's another challenge I want to lay down is that what if I said that every choice we make today will affect your children or grandchildren? Now, how does that make you feel when you consider that where you are today is going to affect your grand, your, your the generations to come, all right? Uh, for me, it gives me a great sense of responsibility that that I need to create a pathway for my children and the grandchildren um, that are the next generation, in a sense. It's next generation thinking. So I just want to finish with a story about a farmer in a season of drought. He heard from God that the rain is coming, even though all the farmers were aware that there had been no rain for months. And the forecast said that there'd be no more, no rain for months again. So, what does this farmer do? He does the crazy thing. He goes to the local store to get all the resources he needs to plant new crops, seed, fertilize, everything he needs. He starts to prepare his field, prepare the soil. He starts sowing the seeds, and he starts getting um, his farms ready. And all the other farmers have heard of what's going on. I thought, man, this guy's crazy. He's just wasted so much money. The seeds are going to die. There's no rain coming. But then, all of a sudden, what happens? It does rain. And he is the only farmer that has um, crop. Because by the time farmers um, rushed around to get their seed and prepare their soil, it was too late. You know, they couldn't plant um, in, in the conditions of the weather. It was just too late. So... Be like the farmer, believe that the rain is coming, prepare the soil, put in the right seed and get ready for an amazing life ahead of you. Next week we will continue our 12 week challenge and the fourth word of the week is champion. Champions, what does it mean to be a champion? So make sure you tune in next week and we will be there for you. Well, I just want to tell you about an exciting and simple tool that I've developed 10 years ago, which I've been fine-tuning over time to the point that it's so much simpler to understand and then apply in your life today. This tool is called F8 Life Blueprint, and if you want a free copy of my F8 Life Blueprint, then just go to my website, www.sunnytail.com, hit the subscribe button, put in your name and your email address, and it will take you to our download page of F8 Life Blueprint. Like I said, it is free. There is no attachments, you don't need any credit card for anything. This is a free copy of my F8 Life Blueprint, which identifies eight areas of life where you can first understand where you are today and then start setting goals for where you want to be in each year. It's kind of like a mind map. 
uh, I like to be more graphic. You can just write in all the different areas um, in the blueprint. And we look at the areas of finance, which is obviously money. Do you need a new job or, or you want to buy a house, a car, anything like that, start a new business? We look at family, you know, are you single, are you married, do you have children? And looking at where you're at and what goals do you have. Maybe you want to have another child or something like that, you know? Um, and then we look at fitness, um, like what, how much exercise are you doing? Then you look at you know, how much more do you want to do and what type of exercise and so on. And then food, what, what kind of, what's the fuel that you're putting into your body? Because, you know, it does have an effect on your cause and effect, remember that. Um, then we look at friends. You know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Very powerful um, truth and that statement right there. We look at the area of fun, which is, I believe is very important that every week that you take time out to do something that you enjoy, that gives you peace and it gives you happiness and it basically keeps you sane in this insane world. Um, and then we look at free, you know. It says it's better to, the Bible says it's better to give than it is to receive. You know, what are you doing as a volunteer in your community, You're giving freely of your time? Even if it's only half an hour, one hour a week, what are you doing? You know, and then there's also faith. Faith is for our personal beliefs, what, what are our values, um, what what is your personal development um, plan that you have uh, right now? And I've learned that that, that is the most important part. Um, of the FA is the faith side of it. So go to my website www.sunny.com, hit the subscribe button, get yourself a free copy of F Lake Blueprints, and also make sure you watch Mad Monday with Sunny Tao on my YouTube channel, which is a kind of like a video version of these podcasts, but it's a lot shorter. Go to YouTube, search for Sunny Tao, and subscribe to my mad monday playlist every monday night eight 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 past eight new zealand time it's gonna be cool please hit that five star rating for this podcast unlimited living with sanita and follow me on facebook instagram twitter and linkedin with my tag at sanita to make sure you don't miss out on my daily motivations thank you once again for listening to unlimited living with sanita which is a waka for all people to achieve infinitely more and to live, love, life. Ka kite ono and God bless you all.